Hello everyone, this video will be a tutorial on performing a flow simulation in SOLIDWORKS. The simulation consists of four main steps. First, we will define a geometry, a cylinder in this case. We will then set up a flow simulation. This includes defining the computational domain, boundary conditions, and specifying the goals of the simulation. Then we will run the simulation. And finally, we will post-process the results. The geometry I will be using is a cylinder. As you can see, it has a diameter of 5 cm and it has been extruded 5 cm, although this is less important for the 2D case we are performing today. Now we will use the flow simulation wizard to set up the general parameters. This will be an external and time dependent simulation. Don't worry about the specific parameters I am using, play around with the numbers to get a feel for the software. Now we will define a 2D computational domain. I am biasing it towards the wake because I am mainly interested in the shedding vortices. For the mesh, I am just going to use a uniform mesh. This isn't very optimal, but my domain is small enough that you don't have to worry too much. You can use an automatic method or go into the advanced settings for a bit more control. Now we specify the goals. In this case, I'm interested in the lift and drag forces on the cylinder. The final step before running the simulation is to set up the calculation control options. Here you can control the stopping criteria, refinement options, time step size, and saving options among others. Make sure to check the box next to periodic. This will allow us to use the transient explorer to visualize the flow in time. Now just run the simulation. In the simulation monitor, you can add various plots or graphs to monitor the progress while the simulation is running. I am going to stop the simulation early. Now load the Transient Explorer and add a cut plot. Make sure to try plotting various parameters. I am just going to create a velocity contour plot. You can also change the color and range of the plot by right clicking on the legend, then hitting edit.
we adjust the time by moving the slider. You can also export the results to Excel. SOLIDWORKS will export the data into a file with data nicely plotted in different pages of the file. You can also make an animation directly in SOLIDWORKS. Just choose the saving options, like file name and quality. You then just hit record and the animation will be saved. We can now find the animation in the location we chose earlier. And here is the animation, ready for a presentation or whatever you need it for. And that is all there is to it. SOLIDWORKS flow simulations are very easy to do, and you can get very nice looking results for simple problems like this one. The next video will be a similar problem, but performed in ANSYS Fluent. This software is a little more difficult to use, but provides much more powerful control options. In the meantime, please leave any questions in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them.